So I just wanted to share some goodies that I got. So this video is gonna be a little bit longer um, because there's a lot of awesome smells that I wanted to share. So first, I wanted to smell um, the two fragrances from the Father's Day collection. Um, first, I have Perfect Gentleman, a charismatic blend of white amber and oak moss in a, with a sleek finish of fresh marine water. That seems interesting. Ooh, okay. It does smell like like a fresh outdoorsy, you know, nothing that's like, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I like that, I like that, and I do have my, I kind of licked that by accident, <laughs> my um, coffee beans this time to help clear my passages in between sniffs. All right, next I have warm, uh, oh, vanilla bourbon, excuse me. So warm vanilla and a, with a, and a smooth sip of bourbon mingle under a hint of nutmeg. So let's see. Okay, I, if you are a fan of vanilla and nutmeg, nutmeg, you'll really like this. It's very like, this would be a good like kitchen scent in my opinion, like good like oh I just baked something but I really didn't bake anything I just wanted to smell like my kitchen is warm and cozy that would be a good fall scent I feel like that would be a really good fall scent all right I do want to give you guys a sneak peek of June's warmer and scent I did not get the warmer this time but I did want to share it with you it's called chromatic and if you like colorful, shiny things, you'll like this. So that's what it looks like. Hey, Melissa. So add bold and rich color to your space with this stunner. Color-plated glass is shattered. Then sections are hand-placed, creating a dazzling mosaic that radiates even more beauty when lit. It sits six and a half inches tall. And this will be 10% off starting June, June 1st. That is very, very pretty. Very pretty. So the scent, I'm a fan of like apple smelling things. No like correlation to being an educator. I'm a fan of Johnny Appleseed. I really enjoy that fragrance we have. Next month, we have a peeling apple. So there's top notes of Earl Grey tea, pear, juicy apple, mid notes of green tea, jasmine, sweet pea, and base notes, mm, oh, it smells so good, <laughs> of spring crocus, C-R-O-C-U-S, white moss, and white moss, and then musk. So a sugary sweetness of juicy apple and a lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. And this smells so good. Mm. And I just love what they do with our scent of the month. They get the, our, all of our fragrance families and put it in the back. Like, y'all, this is really good. This is, this is really good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. So if you want a sample of this one, you let me know. Or any of the Father's Day ones, let me know. I will be making some samples. Probably not today because I need to clean up my space, my sample making space. But let me know. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Okay, before I get into these other smells, let me show you these mini fan diffusers. Look at So cute. You think the white marble is cute? Boom, look at the black. So you put the pod inside and then you plug it in um, and then it, um, it's a USB plug so you can plug it into your computer, your laptop, in your car and just, you know, fragrances your spaces instantly because of the fan. Y'all, these are styling. I like them. I mean, I like the solid color ones that we have these are bomb 
Okay. So, I'm really excited for these smells that I am about to present to you. Because we do something semi-annually called Bring Back My Butt. So, if you've been following Scentsy with me for a while or you're new, um, every once in a while, every time we get a new, our, our new catalog season, so fall, winter, and then spring, summer, and then in between we do, um, limited time offers of fragrances, licensed fragrances, and then each month we have a scent of the month. But sometimes some fragrances have to retire and get discontinued. So the only way to kind of keep them now is we recently started a program, I can't remember how long ago, called always get my bar through our Scentsy Club subscription. There's no fees um, associated. You pay for what you want. And with always get my bar, if you have a fragrance that you really, really love, whether it's a scent of the month or a catalog or a limited time offer or a licensed one, you add it to your Scentsy Club. Um, you can get it mailed to you, um, your subscription every month, every two months, every three months. And what happens is as long as you keep that bar the wax bar in your club order it'll they'll make it for you and so i get my club order every three months so i'll actually have it in june um so i can show you guys like how obsessed i am i have like at least like 20 bars that you can't get on the website right now um some of them are limited time offers some of them are scent of the month some of them are catalog like i'm not sure if they're going to come back in the fall winter so i put them on there just in case so there are a few fragrances that I'm really excited to smell. So with Bring Back My Bar, they bring back those discontinued fragrances for a month um, while supplies last. And so from June 1st to June 30th, you'll be able to smell these, order these. Um, I have all 25 and I am super excited because some fragrances I've wanted to smell and some are coming back that we had when I first joined. So, and I will make sure to tell you which one. So I do have my coffee just to kind of clear myself out in between smells. And the first fragrance that I ever smelled that I fell in love with, I think I have the um, original product I got in a room spray, is coming back. And I'm so excited because I can add it to my Scentsy Club and get it made for me forever and ever. And I can finally warm the ones that I've been like hoarding. There's one more fragrance I'm waiting to come back. I'm, I'm hoping out next year. And I'll be like so excited. So I want to go through and smell these. Um, so I'm going to read the description because like I said, I only know about a few of these. Um, but I'm really excited to smell them. So the first one I'm going to smell is called Spring Forward. If sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedarwood. Ooh. And just, ooh, to let you guys know, I did not read any of these prior to, so. Okay. I don't get as much raspberry, like, sweetness, but I do get, like, that woodsy smell, but, like, in a fresh way, like, a kind of florally, but not florally way. Okay. 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 I am going to create two piles of, like, which one's, like, oh, yeah, I most definitely may need to add that to my club, and then I'm going to narrow it down to, like, my, my top six. Feels good. All right. Summer Soleil? Soleil? S-O-L-E-I-L, that word. All right, pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Okay, I'm interested. Coconut's not my fa favorite, as you guys know. So, let's see. Because it's warm, this stuff is kind of, it's like it's stuck a little bit in this clamshell. And then also struggle busting with the nails. Oh my goodness. I like to smell like the backs of it. Okay, I'm gonna have to just smell the top because I'm 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 struggling. Ooh, it's not as coconutty as I thought, and it could be. I mean, I get the hints of coconut, but it's not like slapping your face coconut. But I think because I smell it, I don't want it. But it's like fresh marine. I can smell the pineapple. I'm mad I can't get it out. 
I might not let it like sit for a little bit and I'll try to get it out. All right, this one is called Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark, and teak are an ultimate dream rope blend. Oh yeah, I smell this. This is like, not my favorite. If you like wood, like straight wood, like you like to go to Home Depot and Lowe's and just go down the lumber aisle and smell straight lumber with a little bit of burntness on top, like you took a torch to it, this is for you. It's not for me, but this would be for you if you like that. Mm -hmm. That was, I wasn't ready for that, but people voted for that back, so. I need all the coffee beans. It's interesting, but that that's the best way I can describe it. Like, like wood chips, but not like, you know, like a, from a cherry tree or anything like that. You know, when people like smoke their meat, like nothing. Like you go straight up going to like Home Depot and Lowe's and like are torching the lumber aisle. Okay. So just throw, just throw them out. Yeah, Kristen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <gasps> Ooh, Okay. Honeymoon Hideaway. This is one of the fragrances I got to experience when I first joined. So I'm excited for this to come back. This is one that's most definitely going into my Scentsy Club. So escape to a secluded retreat of dew kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaped by lush coconut palm. Mm, and I know it has coconut and I know y'all probably like this. You don't like coconut. Listen. So good, so good, so good. I'm glad this is back. I can add it to my clip. Okay, this is most definite. I didn't clear off my desk before I did all this, so struggle bussing, struggle bussing. You gotta smell the new uh, scent that came from the summer collection, and then it's like coconut daiquiri. If you love coconut, you'll like that one. The next one we have is French Kiss. I'm scrolling and find it. Sweet fig, tenderly caressed by coconut pulp. Okay, all this coconut. Exotic cedar and caramel. This one's a little tough to get out to. I think the sun got to these. Ugh, okay. Okay. I really get the fig and the cedar. I don't really smell coconut or caramel. But of course that can change like once it's warmed. Mm. I like it, but I don't like it enough for me to like want to put on my like Scentsy Club. All right, strawberry swirl. Frozen strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Ooh, this sounds like a good like summer treat. Okay. All right. I don't get a lot of strawberry with this one. It, and then again, it can change when it when you warm it. I, for me, like the top note, it's very that frothy milk. It's like, like whipped is what, like if you think of like the, um, the popsicles that have like milk in them, like the homemade ones or the ones you can get in the grocery store. This is what this reminds me. Not my favorite, not, not my favorite, not my favorite. I don't even know where, oh. Kahiko Hula. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I apologize if you are Hawaiian. Assuming that's where that's from, right? I just saw it. Okay, it's K A H I K O. So say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. Ooh, okay. Let me see if I can pop this one out. It's not the butt. Ooh, yeah. If you love the smell of fruit, but not like a uh, in your face kind of way. This is good. This is real good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my like maybe pile. No maybe pile, no maybe pile. All right, next we have Candy Craze. Um, we currently have this in, I think, only body wash right now. 
think only body wash. Um, so this is a great sweet scent. Um, one of my girls, Ashley, Ashley White, um, she loves this. Um, we used to have it in like scent packs. So it was like perfect for Scentsy Buddies and stuff. Cause it's just like, you know, reminds me of like childhood and sweetness. So just the sweet stuff, raspberry sorbet, cotton candy and fluffy marshmallow. Mm. And it's not like super sweet either. It's like that just right sweetness. I really do get like blue cotton candy. And I love cotton candy. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I love it. I love it. All right. This is the first fragrance that, one of the first fragrances I smelled that had me hooked with Scentsy. Um, white tea and cactus. It's a clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. If you're like a aloe, water, and cucumber fan, if you like ours, you'll love this. Mm, it's just so fresh. Mm, I'm so excited that this is back, that I can add it to my club, because I also have, when it was discontinued, I snuck, snagged it in a few wax bars and I snagged it in a room spray. So I'm about to use it all up. I'm so excited. So excited. Mm, 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 mm. Let me my nails. Cleanse my nails. Okay, lemon thyme berry. I was, I'm very interested in smelling this one, especially after our Life's a Garden um, collection. So this purple, sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. Ooh. Hmm. This is, I like it. Let me see if I can get it out so I can sniff the butt. Okay. I kind of like it. Hmm. I have to think about that one. I have to think, I have to think about that one. I like it. It's different. It's different. You can for sure get that time. So if you're if you're a herb smeller, fresh herb smeller, you might like that one, especially if you like those type of like lemonades and stuff like that. All right, next I have Jet Set Go. Jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. Ooh. This does make me feel like I'm on an island. Ooh, okay. Let me also add this to my maybe pile. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Next, we have Lucky in Love. We had this previously as well while I was a consultant. Um, well, I am a consultant when I first started. Um, sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peaches and berries. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, some of it did kind of melt with the heat. This is why I'm doing felt samples right now. All right, this one is Love Story. Innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. Ooh. I like this. That's a good combo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in my my like six pack maybe. So if you order Scentsy now that it's warmer, you'll notice it'll um especially wax. It'll come in like the silver bubble mailer, and it may come with like a pack of ice, like not like ice ice, but like a reusable ice um thingamajig because uh yeah, it's hot in these streets. But if you are a customer of mine, you'll notice that unless you're local, I will be giving you, um, well, even if you're not local, uh, even if you are local, excuse me, I will be giving you um, samples, majority of the samples in felt form because it'll reabsorb absorb if it does get too hot and melt. Um, it's just it's hot in these streets. It's just it's a little too hot to do just regular wax. Okay, so blue, I can never say this, and I meant to Google how to say it first. Hyacinth, I think, H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H, I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. I know it's a flower or a plant. So florals from heaven, okay. Pure blue, the H word that I just spoke for y'all, is all about the flower power. All right, 
because some of these did melt a little bit, I'm not going to take it out because it's making my hands. Ooh, okay. This is very fresh, but not super florally. Ooh, okay, let me add this to this pile over here. I kind of like that. I like that. All right, I've been excited for this one because I heard this one was good. This is Ocean. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Mm -hmm. I can picture myself in an Airbnb, a beach themed with like seashells and jellyfish decor with like a mermaid room and like teals and blues and like soft pinks and whites. And like this is what this like smells like. Like this is what the Airbnb would smell like with like the sliding glass door open and the, the curtains like blowing and like the ocean breeze coming in yeah that's where my brain that's that's where i went with that i don't like that all right mulberry bush sweets mulberry accented with bittersweet bittersweet orange peels i don't think i've ever had a mulberry I've even seen one this reminds me of like eating fruit snacks. Like that, like a, that grapefruit snack. Or when you put like the Welch's, if you put all of them in your mouth at one time. That's what this smells like. It's sweet, like in a good way. Mmm. This would be good for like a kid's room. A little sweet, or a kitchen. All right, my wish. If I had one wish. You, my okay, a confection confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. Well, let's see. Let me get a sniff of my beans first. Let's see if I'm gonna wish for more. Well, my one wish, like Ray J. Mmm. I really get the violet and like. You know how people say like aftertaste? When I get my after sniff, I get that marshmallow. Mmm, that's good. Add this to this pile over here. My pile's getting a little too big. All right, all right, all right. I have coffee tree. I've smelled this before. Um, so bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. I am a cold coffee drinker, like preferred blended. I do drink iced caramel macchiatos. Warm coffee and I just don't, or hot coffee and I just don't get along, but I love the smell of coffee. This is like opening up a bag of like fresh coffee beans that need to be ground up. Or if you go to like um, Harris Teeter and uh, what's it called? Whole Foods or even Warren Market and you like walk by when someone's like grinding up their, their beans. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like that. I don't know necessarily I would warm it inside the kitchen, but we have like a coffee machine, you know? All right, watermelon mints is our next one. I don't need to even use my coffee beans, so I just, you know, coffee bean it up. So a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with uh, bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. So I'm excited for this. I love watermelon and I love mint. I need to get some more mint for my grandma. Somehow I killed ours, but. Hmm, I was expecting this. Now it could change once it's warmed. I was expecting this to be a little more watermelony. Like I get like it's there and the mint's there, but I wanted it to be like a little sweeter, like, you know, like the artificial watermelon, like a pow of mint, but it's good. I like it. I'm almost done y'all, like six more. Yeah. thank you for sticking it out i appreciate it all right sweet pea and vanilla 
So am ambience of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. Ooh. I kind of like it. It's not bad. It's not as vanilla as I expected. Mm. Okay, we got another watermelon one. I have smelled this one, I believe. Watermelon patch. Sweet vine riped watermelon. Mm. So if like this smell of watermelon was with watermelon mint with the mint I think I would love watermelon mint even more like I like it because how subtle it is so I'm for sure kind of see how it is warm watermelon patch is just like sweet reminds me of like hubba bubba or bubble it's just bubble a little bit without like being sugary all right oodles of orange so kids will love the sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Yum. It smells good. It smells like it's going to be like a, remind me of a popsicle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I get, I'm trying to see what that is. Then that might be the papaya I'm smelling. I smell like the papaya more. And then from my after sniff, I get the mango and the pineapple. And I think with the papaya, the berries, but I'm not sure what berries. Mm, it's not bad. This would be a great like summer scent, kitchen scents. If you have like a sunroom scent, uh, like when the breeze comes through and the kids then yeah, that would be good. Okay, Rock and Ruby Raz. We've had this before. I think this was like, it came with like last year's Easter collection or something like that. So a fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. Oh yeah. This is like candy to me. Like the candy glaze. Reminds me of like a candied apple. Hey, it's two more. Two more. All right, I have wild black cherry. I already know I'm not going to like this. I am not a fan of cherry. A sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fa fashioned black cherry soda. Yep. We'll see. Mm hmm. It's not bad though. Like, if you like that old fashioned, like, cherry smell you'll like this mm. and it ain't for me okay fresh cut daisies is my last one let me just go back up so a meadow awash in summer blooms freshly cut grass and clo and clover with davy daisies buttercups and ivy mm. oh yeah Super fresh, super fresh, super clean. So if you kind of want that floral scent without it being like super florally and like super fresh, like this would be good in like washer whiffs or Scentsy Fresh spray. Like, mmm, it's like really light and airy in a good way. So to recap, because we just, I went through a lot. So I just sniffed 25 retired scents. They will be available June 1st through the 30th. You can bundle and save with them. They will be $6 each. You can choose to do that three for 17 or the buy five, get one for 30. Or if you want all of them, you can get all of them. Um, if there is one that you're like, ooh, I've smelled this before. I need it back in my life. Um, or when you fall in love with and you want to make sure that you get it. Because after June 30th, you won't be able to get it. Um, unless it goes on clearance. Um, unless it pop ups, pops up on clearance. You can do the always get my bar perk with Scentsy Club. And I, if you want to know more information about Scentsy Club, let me know. Um, it's amazing. I really do. I really enjoy knowing that every three months I am getting the bars that I want. Um, I add cotton cleanup to it. And then I switch out my other consumable products like my Scentsy Fresh and if we need hand soap and things like that, just depending on like what's going on. So instead of just like going and ordering it, I can just add it to there and know that it comes there. 
Um, I also shared with you guys the June scent of the month, Appealing Apple, and the warmer. I don't have the warmer, but I did show you guys that picture. Um, that will be available on June 1st. And scent of the month and warmers of the month are 10% off the month they're featured. And we also have it in um, Appealing Apple in a scent circle um, and a room spray along with that bar. So you can get it in those products. That's really good. So if you love apple smells you'll really like that um i also sniffed for you guys and gave you my reaction to two of our father day collection scents vanilla bourbon and perfect gentleman I believe that is still available on my website and i will be working on sampling these out tomorrow um and then i showed you guys my new money friend i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited all right, so let me show you how many scents I have sitting over here. Okay, my hard nose or strawberry swirl and Palo Santo. Those are my hard nose from the Bring Back My Heart collection. Those were not, most definitely not for me. Okay, so like my six pack is gonna be different because I already know like a few of these I'm adding to my Scentsy Club because I've been like wanting them to come back. So, okay, White Tea and Cactus and Honeymoon Hideaway, I'm most definitely adding things to my Scentsy Club because these are scents I've experienced previously and I really do enjoy them, so I'm not going to consider them part of my six pack um, of my recommendations. All right, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. all right, and narrow it down. Ocean, for sure. I really, I really like ocean. I really, really like ocean. That's, that's for sure. That, yeah. I, okay. I'll, do it. I'll try to be quick. Okay, I think Love Story. That's the one I'm like, mm. Fresh Cut Daisies. Mm. See, now I smell, does that have coconut in it? It doesn't, but now I'm smelling like coconut. I'm getting coconut vibes for some reason from Jet Set Go. Okay, I'm gonna say Emma Pass on Lemon Time Berry. I do like that one, but I don't think I want would want that in a six pack. Okay. All right. No smell. Marshmallow. I think I like my wish, but I think because of the marshmallow that I think warmed, I might not like it or it might be too sweet for me. So I am going to pass on my wish. It is good though. That after smell of that marshmallow is like, wow, marshmallow. Okay, I keep smelling the blue high synth. I think I'm saying that right. So I'm going to add that. I really, I really do like that. So that's four. Okay. Mm. Okay, all right, so my buy five get one free, my six pack, the Ka Ka Kahiko Hula, Spring Forward, Blue Hyacinth Love Story, Fresh Cut Daisies, and ocean and then the two i was most definitely going to get regardless honeymoon hideaway and white tea and cactus so if you stayed on or watched any part of this or replaying thank you so much i greatly appreciate it 
Um, I am going to be making samples of these throughout the week. Um, most, most likely for my locals because I want to give you a cube. Um, so we'll see how many people are interested. And based off of that, I may sample out my six pack for you guys. So I'll keep you guys posted, but thank you so much. And I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Bye.